Uh, my name is Manny Aguilar, and I'm here with the La Colonia de Eden Gardens here in Solana Beach. And I've been a member of the community now for about 30, 31 years. And we saw a need over the last couple of years with the escalating violence and drug activity within Eden Gardens to get activated within our own community and find a way to provide more options and more choices for the families and for the kids for more positive uh, activities. Up and through probably the beginning of 2010 through this past uh, summer, mm -hmm. there were instances of uh, young men from both Eden Gardens and Encinitas or Tortilla Flats mm -hmm. uh, that were trying to claim their territory with, with tagging and graffiti mm -hmm. and it escalated to violence. Yeah, we've actually been able to coordinate and uh, collaborate with the city of uh, Solana Beach, mm -hmm. with the Boys and Girls Club of San Quito, mm -hmm. uh, with the, uh, uh, I'm trying to think, the YMCA, we're currently starting a project with the YMCA mm -hmm. um, Arena Soccer League as well, mm -hmm. but with the city of Solana Beach, we've got an after school program that we started last year okay. here at La Colonia Park. Okay. We also then uh, we're able to continue that with a summer program. For the first time ever, we had a summer program here mm -hmm. in La Colonia Park mm -hmm. for the kids that were in the after-school program. And what ages are these kids? These are kids from age 6 all the way to ages 16 and 17. Okay. So about 70 kids that were being served. Uh -huh. And it's the first time we've ever been able to have that uh, consistency because typically we lose them over summer. Right. But it's important to keep them engaged. Mm -hmm. So there have been a lot of activities after school, actually after school activities as well as during the summer. There were a lot of field trips, there were uh, some community projects. Mm -hmm. Volunteer organization we're yourself? all volunteers, yes. All of us on the board are all volunteers, nobody's paid. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to raise money for the programs for the community. And it's important for us to also engage the parents. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of immigrant families here and we're working with different um, organizations from the San Diego Alliance and mm -hmm. others to try to bring those services because there's a lot of organizations that are members to, to the table because people don't realize those services are there. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to collaborate and be kind of the kind of the connector. Mm -hmm. That's why it was wonderful to, to meet Ed mm -hmm. uh, from the Sandal Foundation and begin these collaborations even further. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is an area that's been known as a here in Eden Gardens on mm -hmm. Alpha Valley as a drug uh, an area to, to score drugs. Yeah. And it's been that way probably since the 60s. Right. Everybody People that come from Rancho Santa Fe, yeah. from Del Mar, yeah. from Oceanside, Carlsbad, Encinitas. Mm -hmm. And it gets better and then it gets worse. It gets, mm -hmm. So it's, it it's constant vigilance. Mm -hmm. And we're working with the San Diego County Sheriff's Department and the City of Solana Beach to work on some of these issues. Really? We're trying to do our best. So we thank you for your support. Yeah.